Okay, so I don't know what happened to the original recording for this. Like, I recorded this a while ago, but suddenly it's gone. So, uh, I want to update the tier list before I start going into the other tier list. Like, this was supposed to come out, uh, or this should be out before the uh, low-cost tier list is out on YouTube. So, let's talk about this. And the reviews for these serpents are, have already been out now, so very helpful for that. Uh, May, uh, Santa Alter and Jolter Lily. Both of these were... So TLDR, they went up, they both went up a tier. Uh, Santa Alter went from don't use at all to extremely niche. And Jolter Lily went from D to C. And I just want to go through my reasoning real quick because this is now taking up time away from like, me streaming on this friday so the reason uh santa alter went from don't use to niche is because of this overcharge part uh like the battery is nice the upgrade from 15 stars to 30 really nice and party crit damage up like all this is like good stuff to have but it definitely depends on what unit you are bringing. She isn't, she only has the 10% battery. She is not doing any kind of farming. It's, it's not gonna be looking good. You're, it's looking like you're stuck on double Oberon. Uh, but this has such good team utility that I cannot conceivably leave her in Domes. The issue is, what servants actually need or want this uh right now you if you didn't have santa alter before you can't have an esports version of her i think an esports version that's stuck at 40 out of 50 is the best use you will get out of this servant because she can die pretty easily but in the current game state you can't exactly leave like if you didn't have the unit before you can't make an esports version because you're missing out on getting rare prisms and pure prisms from sending them she's just right now she's just in a weird spot i think she needs another buff before i can like move her out of this tier like i think she needs her own battery um not even for farming but just so she herself can be a part of the multi-core because again if you're using her with uh bitch darkness and tonal echo she might be able to pop her own mp but it's not going to be the most consistent thing so yeah uh she's in extremely niche because it is very situational whether he's good or not and like what's he easier running because it like starting from zero is very different from starting for 50 percent uh in terms for events they're very they're very different in which servants you can actually use um all right next we have jolter lily now jolter lily is different in that he already had a battery even though it's 20 percent, so it's not ideal for farming and but it fixed her mp now instead of all of these effects being one turn they last three turns you, like you no longer require mps that have healing attached to it to follow directly after and the there's some actual ramp up now however I do not think overcharge one, so like a basic MP is enough for any of these effects. I think that you have to have higher levels of overcharge. Thus, she needs a skill buff that can give herself overcharge. It's unfortunate, but like this is not enough to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to bring Jolter Lily to go do this. It's just there isn't enough charge in the party to like 
warrant her when her effects are this low. Now, if these like, and that's why I say overcharge three, because then this is 20% attack. Uh, I believe this goes up to like 30% healing received. Uh, no, 40. Yeah, 20% attack, 40% healing received. Debuff immunity doesn't, uh, resistance doesn't change, but honestly, like 10% is okay. That does cut a lot of magic resist, like in half. Like for, like for units that don't have magic resist, like this is overkill. Units that do have it, it almost guarantees that all debuffs are like gonna land. It, like if, if you're farming, you don't need some uh, Phantom of the Opera, like 50% down for that. And yeah, because he has utility in multi-core, especially if you can do some overcharge stuff, preferably preferably party-wide until she can get a buff that gives her overcharge. Yeah. So overall, and this isn't gonna be the standard for all the tier lists. It's just that these are servants that came out at the start of the game and they were balanced for the start of the game. That's why they were as low as they were. Now they got a modern buff, especially Santa Alter. Hers is way, like hers, this is a fix. This was a buff. Like, so, and I think going from don't use to extremely niche is significantly different from D to C. Like the, can't put it into like rankings on here because there's a reason this is here. Uh, but yeah, that's the only change for the tier list. Uh, I want to have this out just so people don't get confused in later videos. Uh, the the timing for the buffs was like terrible because I think it was a couple days after I originally recorded the tier list. But yeah, sorry for the delays on all this stuff. Hopefully, uh, as it gets closer to uh, the time zones fixing, uh, my sleeping schedule will be better too and that means uh more frequent updates or uploads all right see you guys later peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace